but then also putting in what's going on and not just a response to them but actually what's happened for you over the last bank of hours. So here we are, we're in the milking parlour now, we're going to have a look at the cows. Are you the herdsman then? No. What no. are you doing today then? Um, I'm sort of partly responsible for Nessie getting this mad idea. Right. Because she came down to our farm about a couple of years ago yeah. in Dorset about something else. Right. And she sort of got keen on the cows and it all came on from there. So I. You're helping I out said today, I'd are you? Come up today and help oh, well done, giving a bit of support. Yeah. So, whereabouts are you from? Um, near Dorchester. All oh, right, nice. Oh, I went down there I um, stayed in Dorchester. I went to the monkey place down there. <laughs> I've never been. <laughs> no, well, that's like everything when it's local, you don't. Yeah, yeah. It's only because I got young kids I went there. Yeah, yeah. Great yeah. place, mine. Yeah. So, yeah. How, how's it been going today? Well, I got here about midday and there was quite a crowd. Mm. And there were all sorts of video cameras and the mayor was here and everything. And there was quite a lot of people in that. And then they had the sort of launch and milked the cow. Yeah. And then it all went quiet, people wandered off. So yeah. I think she's hoping that people are going to come back again. And when we milk the cow and stuff, yeah, it'll get a bit more light. evening, so but I'm, also, uh, I'm are... just going to wander off and have a bit of a break. Yeah. You? I'm going to come back and be here for the... There's supposed to be this discussion. At yeah, I've come to take part in that, actually. Because I milk cows as well. Oh, you do? Yeah, I'm a dairy farm from Gloucestershire. Oh, yeah. But I do a little bit of video on the side. So see. I'm just videoing the, the lovely cows and stuff and the yeah, people yeah, involved yeah. with it and things. Yeah. So yeah. I milked the cows this morning, but oh. I got the afternoon off. Oh, well Dan. Sorry, what's the name? I'm Richard Cornock. Richard, uh, yeah. Um, uh, do you write in? I'm farmer, uh, National Farmers Union. Yes, oh, Cornock's Corner. That's you, it. That's yes. right. You've seen that. I've read you? it very much. No, well, I've been in there for a while. No, I always read the, uh, the, that bloke from Devon. Oh yeah, he's really yeah. good, isn't he? He's entertaining. Some, yeah. Sometimes it's absolute well, he's, bullshit. Yeah. I feel like writing in terms well, of bullshit. Yeah. Other times I just laugh. Yeah, no, I, I um, Cornock's Corner I wrote for the Farmers That's right. National Farmers Union. Yes. You're the first person who's ever spotted me, actually. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, uh. Years and years ago, I, I, I had a slot in, I think it was British Dairy. Oh, right, yeah. A similar thing. Did a few months. After a bit, I think you begin to dry up. Don't well, you? luckily when I was doing it, it was quite a gap between each article yeah. or each column, so I didn't have to worry too much. But then they changed the editor, you see. I, I've been through three editors, and then yeah. the last one left, and I haven't been asked to do any more, which no, is a shame. That's right. But I, I did it for five years, it so I did enjoy it, yeah. you know? It's yeah. a bit of a change. It's like all this stuff. You just need to do a few different things to make your life a bit more interesting, yeah. don't you? Yeah, absolutely. Especially if you're milking cows every day. It gets yes. a bit boring. Yes. Well, I... I haven't, um, what, I got, my knees got worse and worse. Right, that's farming this for you, isn't it? This one was absolutely rubbish. And I kept going to the doctor and he said, look, he said, this is a major thing, he said, when you're ready to retire, have it done. And it got worse and worse. And I, I, I was really, I couldn't. Do a milking, anything like that. Yeah. I, was, I was, I was hopeless. And if you have a herd of cows, even if you've got a dairy milk, if you can't release milk yourself, no, that's very true. You've got to be nightmare. fit, haven't you, with cows? Absolute nightmare. We yeah. had eight different people. Yeah. You know, because the dairyman would go and damage his hand and yeah. for a few weeks, and, and you, you were trying to. Whereas if you do it yourself, it's you know. And so I thought, well, this has got to come to an end, and. Um, so I went back and I said, OK, um, we're going to sell the cows next May and then we'll get the knee done. Mm. And um, I do um, heifer rearing for one of right. the farms now. Oh, well, that's fair quite, enough, isn't it's it? You've still got your hand in cattle yeah. and yeah. it's not yeah. quite so much work, is no, it? that's right. Yeah. I haven't I'm got to get up at six o'clock in the morning, have you? I, no, they don't mind you not feed them till nine. Well, that's right, yeah. So, that's quite sociable, isn't it? I quite um, look forward to that when I retire. Yeah, and it, it's quite... I have to say, I... I God, I don't want to unwrap another bale. It's going to be so. This winter seems to have gone. Oh, it's really been wet, hasn't it? It's gone. It's horrendous. Been so long winded this Yeah. Spring. God, and because we did it all, we've done it all with rat bales now for these yeah. efforts rather than. Well, all our cows went out this week. And oh, that's you were this week. Like, yeah. I, I got these bloody heifers. Ten out days later than normal. Yeah. yeah so no, wet, no grass. We really. normally get some, do something in March, but this year just went on and on. Yeah. Eventually, it was a good thing in a way because. We got one place we put straw in, and we've been putting straw in for years, and we never got to the back. Yeah. And imagine what all those bales were like. Got back. full of rats. There was a whole lot that we got. It was long winded because yeah. you had to, you know, you couldn't put a spike in. You had yeah. to get them with a grab. Anyway, it's all cleared out, ready to put 
clean stuff in. So oh. that's one good thing. Yeah. Um, oh, but God, I so really hope. Day before yesterday, out they went. Fantastic, God. isn't it? What a great day that is, isn't it, when you oh, let the cows out? God. Hey? But what about these places that keep them in? And oh, I wouldn't want to do it. Every single day. I wouldn't want to do it. It's, log, it's logging, isn't it? Yeah. At least these cows look nice and healthy, isn't it? I better go and have a little walk round them. Yeah. Nice to meet you anyway. Yeah, yeah. Take care. Right, here are the two cows. I don't know where they've got names. One's having a nice bit of hay. Get too close. Get pre uh, pedigree Guernseys, as I've been told. Get this one all here tagged up. So we'll see these being milked later. Look at them, how contented they are. Beautiful. Hello. And there's a few crowd, a few people chatting away. Let's have a look. That's Nessie, we'll have a little chat with her in a minute. Family's here looking at their kids. So this is Nessie's accommodation. She's got a, a and looks like she's got a jug of cream there. And sunglasses out, don't think we need those today, and a nice comfy chair. And she's sleeping on a bed of straw at the back. There you go. Fantastic place to stay. Next to the cows as well, which would be very nice. There's the milking kit, it looks all brand new. So it's a one-man churn. Going into the churn there. Electric. And units are very similar to ours, look. Single cluster. And there's the important brushes to keep it clean. So we'll be interested to see that working later. Feeling. Oh, message board. This is interesting. Warm milk, please. just noticed the battery light on my camera is a bit low so I don't know how much more film I'm going to do but uh, I'm going to try and get a picture of um, filming the cows being milked and stuff. Uh, a bit wary of asking too many people to be interviewed because sometimes it's not something they want to do but I'll just get a general idea of what's going on down here. So, right, okay so I'm just going to, I've met two people here who just turned up and watched this and I'm just wondering what you think of it all. What do you think of it? What, do you want me to repeat my question? Well, just... Are you recording now? Yeah, I'm recording now, yeah. <laughs> I, just, I just like, you, you've watched this chatting about farming and you've watched the cows here. What do you, because you're obviously not I mean, from farming background, are you? Am I not? Well, I don't know, it's not. <laughs> but I'm not your overall. Those shoes are killers. 
Yeah. I mean, how do you apply to be a farmer then? How do you apply to be a farmer? Like most my family are not in the farming yeah. industry. If I want to be a farmer, how do you recruit? Uh, most people just do it through farming background or, or they know people that farmers and they just go, they love it and go, like kids go and work on farms for free when they're young and then, that's yeah. a good question though because it's not it's easy not like to get into. It's not like an agency, you don't go to No, it's very true actually. I want to be a farmer, like if people got a love for animals. They do go to colleges, yeah. agricultural yeah. colleges and stuff. Yeah. But what do you know about dairy farming? Much? Not an awful lot, but I know that a couple of my friends are like vegetarians and vegans mm. for the fact that they don't like the way the animals are treated when they're yeah. alive and the way that they're slaughtered. Yeah. But actually, if they find out about how they were looked after yeah. and how the end was, then they might change their views. That's and true. I couldn't go without meat. Well, like. it, no, that's very true. I think it's very difficult. You either, you know, if you like meat, it's very hard to give it up. I couldn't give it up. No. I think the main thing is that you hope that you get animals from, that have been treated well from, you know, and looked yeah. after, isn't it, really? Yeah, and obviously a lot of people just buy purely organic food. Mm. But actually, just are they, are organic, they the same if they're organic? So like just... Um, well, it's different ways of treatment, but, but I think a good farmer would tr treat their cows right whether they're organic or not, really. Yeah. Okay. You know? Do you just eat organic foods then? Well, I don't eat much. I'm a dairy farmer myself, but okay. um, I, I don't really choose organic because I, I know that, because we're not an organic farm, and I know that we look after animals really well. Yeah. So I don't worry about buying non organic food, but it doesn't mean to say that I'm right. It's yeah. just the way I look at things, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's true. But if you know your farm and you know the way they're looked after, yeah. actually, you won't mind eating them. Because I mean, the thing is, is, you can't run a good field farm if you don't look after your animals properly, really. Because no. it's like anything, if you don't look after people, like if you work in an office and someone doesn't look after you in the office, you're not going to work well for them, are you? No. I know that's not a great so comparison. It's not reflect on the same. So if you don't look after your cow, it's not going to give you enough yeah, milk. That's what I mean. Yeah. If you don't treat your animals right, they're not going to look at you know give you a good have you milk. Have you ever had a naughty cow? Oh, we get naughty cows all the time. <laughs> yes. You know naughty, I mean, like... naughty cows. Yes. <laughs> Do you know what? We've got one called n n number ninety-three. Naughty okay. three. My. Has he not my... got a name? Yeah, they've all got names, but I can never remember them. Oh. They've got names as well, my dad names them. Names. They've got names like Janine and Eleanor and stuff. Uh, <laughs> but they, um, Naughty 3 kicks quite a bit. Yeah? 93 a number For is. For what but reason though, do you think they're yeah, just, you know, you, kicks you I'll tell you what it's like, no, it kicks you when you're milking it. You've got but you know like... Naughty 93. Yeah, Naughty 93. 93, there you go. Maybe you need but to rename it 39. You know, yeah, what, well, so like you won't kick. Hey! That makes sense. But you know you know you get grumpy people. Yeah. Grumpy cows as well. Yeah. So you've got two of your finest and the best. These are my cows. Um, They're someone yeah. else's. I'm just here to do a bit of yeah. media yeah. chatting, if you like. Media yeah. Chatting. yeah. Anyway, it was really nice yeah. meeting you, girls. And, yeah. and you will be on YouTube on the fun <laughs> on the Funky Farmer channel, which is my yeah. channel. Funky so look, Farmer. Look out for that. You'll be on there probably Friday yeah. night. <laughs> Friday Cheers. night with the Funky Farmer. Yeah. Hey, hey. Um, I think we should just sit around here. Yeah, actually. yeah, that's all. Yeah. Okay, we're back. That's great. So we're doing a farming forum here. I'm, just, I'm not going to film this sort of one. Just, I'm just giving you an idea of what's going on. Um, but it's going to take a lot of video, so I'll just. So you agree with this? You agree with this statement? Well, I don't Is it cow cuddle time? I think it's nearly time for milking, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Have they got names? I didn't this, ask. This one is Elise. Right. This is Elise, and that's Meadows. Hello, Elise. 
Oh, Meadow Sweet, lovely. Funny face. Yeah. Girls. Having like cow bonding. Cow bonding, that is good. Oh, Sweet. that's the main oh. thing is, you got to be oh, careful, they're heavy, aren't they? <laughs> Hello. Oh, girl. That was, All right. like, that was like lurching Sorry, that was, forwards. They're amazingly Sorry. calm though, aren't they? Yeah. They're really yeah. lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful, yeah. aren't they? I wanted a bit of your What do you think of all this? It's alright. They're so well turned out, aren't they? It's just so right. immaculate. I think I think she's quite this one's quite social. Hello. For a young cow she's very social. Yeah. You can get this one's chilled out, yeah. I think we're coming up to milking time now, isn't it? This is the best day of my life. I'm getting treated so well in here. Oh, look. Do anything, okay, milking time. Yeah. Presence behind her. Right. So Ness is about to start milking. Do you have one? I'm just about to milk, milk the cow. She's been given her before. cake, and now she's going to hopefully give some milk. Here we go. Oh, the back is about to go flour in here. So we're going to finish with this. I've got the back is nearly going flat, so we're hopefully going to see the cows milking, but we'll end the milking parlour with the milking parlour. Clean the seats off. Yeah. Clean the seats off. Yeah, slightly different to see you. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, but it's exactly the same principle, really. It's just, a, it's just sort of pulsating, backing thing. Yeah. So rather than, everyone thinks that that it's thing will just suck, but actually what it does is it pulsates like okay, that. Yeah, yeah, so it yeah. sucks, switches off, sucks. So it's kind of, otherwise the milk just sucks. Yeah. Really cool so it's more like kind of like a uh, big sort of. Yeah, that's it. A bit of mimicking what a car would do. Get me under there, mate. Here we go. Here we go. We are now milking. On in the milking parlour. 